Hi. So I am going to talk about and show you um, how a few things about the Auto Trader. We have a new version out that has a bit more functionality, and um, we also have a component that you can use to manage a few of these um, running at the same time, which I will get to last. So to get started, I'll do a quick demo of the single instance. So. I currently have the ES chart open and all of these are empty. I will use the regular um, we'll use the stochastics crossover system to demo this, although any system with the signals will work. Okay, so the stochastics crossover system has these arrows um, to go long and to go short whenever we have a crossover. So in order to use the AutoTrader we need signals and any signals will do so we're going to use these for the demo. <coughs> okay so I'm going to go over the configuration a little bit. The first thing we need to do is set up the references in order for the AutoTrader to know when, it, when to enter on a buy and when to enter on a cell. And I won't go over all of these um, right now, but you generally have fields here to control um, the behavior of the automated trading. Um, you can customize a trade window when to start and when to end trading. Um, you can customize the strategy name. Okay, we can call this stochastics cross over one and some things to control the colors as well as your max daily profit max daily loss your maximum position size and um, and the number of contracts for for manual trading um, so the important thing for now though is that we had set up the long and the short signal references so going back to here you can see now that the strategy name has been updated here, so we know which strategy this is linked up with. And it currently starts out as disabled. And if I go back here, I'm gonna run a replay just so we can start seeing what it does. And I will run it just on this area right here. We have a few up arrows, right? So we have a few long signals. Okay, so I'm gonna start the replay here, replay start. I'm just replaying this chart right now. Okay, so right now you can see that the auto trader is um, disabled and so nothing is happening. Okay, so if I speed this up, let's say to 60, you will see now that um, we get an arrow but nothing will happen. Okay, so we didn't enter. Now I'm going to um, enable it. Right, so now we're enabled and we're taking all long and short with a quantity of two and we're entering on bar close. Okay, so we're waiting for the bar to close before um, we actually place a trade. speed this up just a little bit more. Now we're pulling back. So I expect we'll have an arrow soon. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, we had an arrow here and we are now long two where we entered on this bar. We can see that if I show order fills, we can see that we had an arrow, this bar closed, so we entered at market on the open of this bar here. And um, now we are long two. Now notice that we don't have any exit orders, right? 
So the audit trader, as it is right now, it's mostly um, intended as an entry tool. So it will automate your entries for you, whereas you would then manage your trade and your exits um, on your own. Now, one thing we can do is I could now basically manage this manually by placing stop orders and um, and target orders and so on. I can also manage it manually um, from here in order to um, get in or get out. Okay. Another thing I can do. Okay. So if I press this, I'm now flat, right? Because I exited. Another thing I can do is if I attach the trade window to the chart, attach trade window to the chart, and I set up my targets here. Okay. So I'm currently set up with a stop and a target of 10. And I click to use attached orders. It will now, on my next trade, pick up these settings that I have here to um, place the attached orders. So let's pause this for a second, speed this up once more, and see what happens on the next signal. there. Next time it goes up, I expect we'll get in. Okay, great. So now you see we entered log again, only this time um, we have our attached orders and our brackets. That is because we had the use attached orders right here. And there are other settings here, which I won't go over all of them um, in detail right now, but um, it allows you pretty much a lot of control over how this behaves and um, how to customize it for whatever trading you're doing. Um, down here, this whole manual section, as you saw before, is just you know manual overrides or manual interaction that you can do straight from here without um, going to the trade window. Um, I can also move all my stops to break even at any time. Um, like I can just press that and it moved my stop to break even and actually got me out, right? Because um, we're, we're already below there somewhere. So that is all available here. The last part is the risk management. You can see currently we have our daily PL, which we have a target of 500 by 500. And we have our current daily PL is minus $200 and our max position size is 10 so it won't go over 10 in terms of um, your maximum position size at any given time uh, if the current daily PL goes above 500 profit or above 500 loss then obviously this will become disabled and it won't um, trade anymore that is that for this for now so that pretty much covers the basics of the auto trader and you know how you can use it. One way to use this, by the way, is more as an assistant to actually do the execution for you. So you might be, um, you know, running it and just enabling it and disabling it whenever you see that you do want to enter, right? Because I might be looking at these arrows as well as some other things, right? Let's imagine for a second that I had on this chart, um, you know, maybe just a moving average. And let's see what this is set to. Let's make this a bit bigger. All right. So let's say that I only enter whenever, you know, I only go long whenever this moving average is um, going up and I only go short whenever this moving average is going down. So I might have it said here that when I'm replaying this, Okay, let's clear out, play this. Yeah, slow this down a little bit. Okay, so now you can see that, you know, the MA is currently pointing up and I don't want it to take, you know, long and short positions at this time because the MA is going up. So I can always put this only on 
um, sorry, put this only for long trades, and it will ignore all short arrows because I'm currently only looking for long. Another thing I can do is, you know, decide that I only want to turn this on whenever I'm ready to, to enter and take the next trade. So I can keep it disabled while I'm watching the chart and then just enable it when I'm ready to go and it will enter for me on the next arrow. That is really just so you don't miss the next arrow or maybe it's a fast moving market and um, you're concerned that, you know, you want this to enter for you so you don't get messed up with all the you know buttons and and doing your thing so that is for that the next um, item I wanted to show in this video is how you can use this with multiples right so currently we're just looking at the ES and the NQ and um, at the ES we've done so far so let's say I'm, I'm trading also NQ so I can add this same study um, to the chart okay so now I have two of them I have one running on NQ and one running on ES now we've created the um, let's see I have actually a third let's put that on CL as well okay so now I have three versions of this so you can ask yourself you know how do I monitor them how do I control them another thing to note is that maybe I have another ES chart, ES 16, and I have one here as well, right? Because maybe it's running a different time frame with a different strategy, and um, and and I don't and I need to manage it in a way that they're not running at the same time or just getting visibility of what's happening. What once you have a lot of charts, it starts to be a little bit hard to to manage all these together. So what we did is we created a, a, a small tool that helps with that. Okay, it's called the Auto Trader dashboard, and what we're doing with it is that it has just some very basic settings. It opens up like this, and it automatically picks up all of the different um, um, charts and the different charts that have the Auto Trader installed on them, and then I can get a global view of exactly what is running where and what the strategy is right we can tell what strategy name is running on each of them and what's the status right now right is it currently you know enabled or disabled um so i can by click of a button i can enable or disable my strategies just from here right so currently we're viewing the es and it's this one up here i can turn it on turn it off and the same thing I can do with the charts that I'm not looking at. Okay, so if I go to the NQ, um, you'll see that it's enabled. And the same thing with the CL. Okay, another thing I can do if I need to navigate quickly from to these charts, I can just right click this, go to chart, and it will immediately take me to the CL. If I want to go back to um, ES, then you know we're here. We're now in the ES replay chart. Um, so this allows you to kind of manage and have a global view of what's going on in all your charts and quickly enable disable something if you know you need to or you see something that's wrong or, or off or something like that. That's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.